bring in uh, Simone, who's going to bring us into the uh, the next stage of our presentation. Um, for those that don't know Simone, he's our developer relations lead and been with IOTEX for many years now. So uh, Simone, why don't you uh, take it away for us? Um, you know, uh, we're going to start, to, we're going to just talk a little bit about uh, the machine Fi roadmap, but the, Simone is going to give us a little uh, developer recap of what's been going on on the IOTEX network as of late. Um, you know, machine Fi, uh, the portal is coming out soon. Um, here are some snapshots where you can register your Pebble Tracker and visualize the data. Um, we're going to have a, a beta launch of this for the Pebble Tracker people that are getting their devices already very soon. And I just want to pause here for a little bit, Simone, um, and talk about the Machine Fi roadmap. Right? We have a big. You're, you're very deep into the Machine Fi portal and TrueStream, um, but this is kind of the roadmap that we have planned to bring Machine Fi to life in 2022. Uh, maybe share some of your thoughts before we dive into the, the dev recap. Yeah, uh, thank you, Larry. By the way, great presentation of the iTech ecosystem growth during 2021. Uh, about the machine fire, well, machine fire, um, if you ask me, is the more or the most amazing, I think, um, development of iTech, of course. Uh, this is actually it's the, the final result of all the developments that uh, of the, all the unique developments that iOTEX did during the past years, especially during this 2021, uh, with the, the introduction of uh, TrueStream preview and then uh, uh, actually starting from the early days with the Pebble Tracker itself. Uh, and then uh, this vision came to life with the TrueStream preview and uh, finally with the MachineFi portal uh, and all this MachineFi concept, uh, which is, I think, extremely exciting, especially talking from the developer's point of view. I think every uh, developer, every blockchain developer is really uh, eager to start working on these unique uh, uh, technologies, which can open amazing type of new applications who uh, can imagine, you know? So yeah, uh, I am personally very like excited myself and uh, uh, about machine fi uh, in general uh, and can't, can't wait, I myself can't wait for what we will build next year. Absolutely, yeah, likewise, you know, I think, yeah. uh, all of the live to earn, play to earn, walk to yeah. earn, you know, this is going to be enabled by devices. So we're really just, uh, we don't want to ruin any surprises, but talking to a lot of device manufacturers that are looking to get their data on blockchain and give their users a brand new, fresh experience, right? But yeah. we could talk about Machine Fi forever. Go check out Machine Fi, machinefi.com. We have the vision paper there. We did an amazing two hour live stream that really broke it down with the entire team. And this is something that's not just a, a marketing ploy, right? We really believe this is the future of Web3. It's going to open up this entirely new design space that lets, uh, you know, Web2 IoT come to Web3 even. But uh, we'll save that for later. Simone, take us through the developer recap for 2022. Yeah, sure. So, well, uh, we didn't have only huge uh, ecosystem growth, of course, but behind the scene, 2021 has also been an incredible year uh, for developers at IATEX. We have seen an impressive number of developers interested in our machine Fi vision, in our true stream protocol, and they are uh, eager to build unique projects powered by IATEX. And the interest uh, in IATEX from developers has grown exponentially this year, starting from the early month of the year. Uh, and now we count 16,000 users uh, in our Discord dev and technical community, uh, 40,000 monthly visits to our development documentation portal, which have been growing exponentially, really starting from March this year, and tens of community grants proposals that have been submitted just in a few months. Um, so le let's take a look uh, at the mainnet releases uh, in 2021, right? Mainnet protocol is the uh, the core uh, product, of course, of the IOTEX project. And uh, uh, Larry, if you go next slide. Uh, yeah, it all started uh, with the, the blockchain release version 1.2, which also um, Larry introduced uh, before. So it was released uh, in May and uh, it allowed now to mine Ethereum 
find transactions natively inside the core protocol in addition to the ITEX native transactions. And together with the Babel API service release, uh, everything enabled Web3 libraries and tools to be used with ITEX natively, uh, allowing blockchain developers to seamlessly build or port their existing Web3 D apps to IOTEX. And then after this release, this huge release, the building did not stop at all, with a total of five major releases of the mainnet throughout the entire 2021 year, the core blockchain protocol of IATEX has seen impressive improvements with a smaller, more manageable and better indexed database, the EVM upgraded to the latest release, faster node cinching, and improved peer-to-peer -peer connections between nodes, the blockchain code is now more reliable and more secure and even more lightweight than it was before. And it was already very lightweight, by the way. But um, the IOTEX protocol is not the only repository that has seen impressive work this year. So if you take a look at our GitHub project on uh, github.com slash IOTEX project, uh, you will see a number of uh, public repositories that have been very active this year. Um, Larry, you can go next slide. Larry? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the most popular ones are certainly uh, products, uh, repositories like IOTube at the previous slide, like IOTube, yeah, uh, the IOTEX cross chain protocol, the official IOPay wallet app. The new block explorer, IATEX Scan V2, which is now much faster and reliable than the first release, which was released at the time of uh, the IATEX blockchain preview, by the way. Uh, and especially thanks to a new analytics layer that have been developed this year in the backend. Uh, on the API and SDK side, apart from the Babel Web3 API service we have been talking about and uh, a part of the Antenna native SDK uh, that have been improved to uh, match the changes in the core protocol, we also released a new Arduino SDK uh, that has been released to fuel IoT and blockchain development in vibrant communities like hobbyist students, but also OEMs in the automation industry. And last but not least, some of our machine-fi related repositories uh, have been open sourced this year uh, from the Pebble Tracker TrueStream client firmware, uh, the TrueStream preview code itself, and uh, the devices portal to serve device users and developers. Um, next slide to the Actons. We um, basically, the IOTEX team was not the only team actually building on IOTEX. And to fuel the next generation of blockchain dApps, uh, IOTEX sponsored several hackathons and ideatons and also internal programs for developers this year. The challenges of these hackathons and programs ranged from building uh, and porting Web3 dApps uh, to IOTEX. Uh, and uh, also using the IOTube cross-chain protocol uh, down to ideating or building the first dApps based on real-world data from Pebble Tracker. And in total, we exposed the iTex technology to over 10,000 participants to these events, which allowed us to work directly uh, close, very close with around 100 community developers and teams, uh, many of whom you will see uh, actively participating in our Discord uh, server. Moving to uh, community grants, uh, community grants have also uh, seen a huge growth during the second half of this year when we published the, the uh, community grants program on our community forum with around 40 ongoing project submissions uh, just in a few months ranging from popular DeFi applications to NFT games, and of course, uh, several unique machine fi project proposals uh, that are very, very uh, exciting. And you can, of course, check them out at uh, our uh, community forum. Just go to community.itex.io and uh, click on the grants proposal, uh, proposals section, uh, as well as we encourage and we welcome anyone uh, to submit their own proposals uh, directly in uh, in our forum. 
very quickly what we can now uh, expect for 2022. Uh, so definitely we can say in 2021, we laid the critical foundations for the development of the Altex vision, right? The machine file vision. And 2022 will finalize most of this work with the uh, the, the new TrueStream protocol releases, um, the dedicated tools that are required for Machine 5 developers to build their products. And developers can definitely expect a TrueStream SDK for embedded devices, uh, simplified device simulators to speed up the development, and tutorials for onboarding Arduino and Raspberry Pi devices to uh, the IoTeX blockchain protocol. In parallel to our internal development, of course, we will sponsor global uh, hackathons in 2022, uh, as well as we will uh, we will run our own internal uh, hackathons centered around Machine Fi, and we will improve our grants and incentives process even more. And we have the goal to give out funds to hundreds developers and teams to build unique products in 2022 on IoTeX. And yeah, I just uh, want to close with an invitation for developers uh, to join our community on uh, Discord uh, at iotex.io slash devdiscord. Uh, we have many activities planned on Discord uh, for, the beginning, for the beginning of the year, so don't miss them. 